hello, this is Tim Sullivan with uh, Flux Pumps for another session of Flux TV. And today, the topic is motors. Behind me, you see quite a lineup of Flux motors. And motors are a very important part of the uh, drum and container pump um, operation. Uh, what stands out about the Flux motor designs is they're extremely heavy duty and durable. Um, very corrosion resistant, much more so than the competition. They're quiet, they're ergonomically friendly, uh, they come with a uh, cord and plug, they're very maintenance friendly, they're repairable, and they have some safety features such as uh, no voltage release, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. So I'd like to just kind of go through the motors that we have and then give you a little bit more detail about some of our uh, d design features. So we begin with uh, the air motor, this is uh, the F416-1, and this is um, a very um, efficient motor. It, the maximum um, air consumption is 17 SCFM. And in uh, air motors, um, the, uh, one of the, they, they all have vanes. So uh, one of the, thi the things that's really important to know about the flux is they have a vein material that's called Ristex, and this is very durable and long life. So that uh, is unique. Now we also have the, uh, the bigger brother, the 416. And this is the uh, air motor with the handle and the trigger. So the trigger is uh, the starting and stopping, but you can also, with this button, you can lock it on in the, uh, in the op you know, permanently lock it on. Um, both motors um, are designed for pumping flammables. They have a grounding lug, and they're uh, inherently variable speed. Okay, uh, next we look at the first uh, electric motor, and this is the uh, FBM 4000. It's our most uh, affordable um, electric motor, and it comes standard variable speed. It's about 500 watts, which is about 0.63 horsepower. And what makes it different uh, from the, um, the next uh, size is the uh, F457. And this is uh, 800 watts, so that's about 1.07 horsepower. These are both non-metallic, and by the way, the, this uh, 457 is available in a variable speed version. That would be the 457 EL. Okay, the, the real pride of the lineup is the, uh, the 458. Uh, these motors here are all metal construction, and the 460 is very similar except it's uh, designed or approved for uh, explosion proof applications. So both of these motors are, are, are come in um, a variety of, of uh, let's say voltages and, and, uh, and versions. So we have the 120 volt, we have 230 volt, we have 50 and 60 hertz, we have a variable speed option, we have 12 volt, and we also have 24 volt. And the horsepower varies from uh, 230 watt up to, um, uh, let's see, 700 watts. So about 0.93 horsepower. Now all of these four motors, electric motors, are brush motors. Now uh, the brush is a wearing part, and the brushes last between 500 and 1,000 hours. Uh, to put that in perspective, if we could empty one 55 gallon drum in a minute, that'd be 30,000 drums in 500 hours. Now, if we were to uh, run one of these motors continuously, um, say 24 seven, the, uh, the 500 hours would be consumed in three weeks. So we have um, a solution for uh, continuous duty, say a recirc application, and that would be, uh, one option would be, be the FBM 4000. That stands for Flux Brushless Motor. So this can run continuously, uh, much like a ceiling fan. It's also explosion proof, and it's variable speed. You can see the dial right here. And this, uh, this is a, a really a great motor. Uh, it, the uh, horsepower is uh, about 600 watts. Now, there are times when um, the customer will request a three-phase motor, and we have that solution with the F414 series. And one thing I didn't mention is all of our electric motors and, and our air motors uh, operate at uh, 10,000 RPM. So when we look at this uh, induction motor, 
It has a built-in gearbox, but it, 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 instead of re speed reduction, it increases the speed. So say 3450 RPM increase to 10,000 RPM. So this motor will perform just like the other motors. And it comes in three different uh, horsepowers, 550 watt, 750 watt, and 1100 watt. It's TEFC, which is similar to IP55. It's also um, inverter duty. So this could be uh, used uh, you know, in variable speed operation as well. So that's uh, the, the overall lineup. Let's uh, drill down a little bit on some of the design specifics. And uh, we'll use the example of the F458. This is double wall construction. And this uh, design creates a high velocity of airflow for cooling and for uh, quiet operation. This has a massive uh, thermal overload protection. Uh, very low amp draw, 6.8 amps, but are, uh, that's the starting amps, but it will run much lower. Um, there are customers that will lift these motors up by the cable, so the integrity of the, uh, the way this uh, cable's attached is, uh, is very, uh, you know, very durable and uh, can withstand uh, some of the abuse. Uh, as I mentioned, the, um, the motors all come with a 16-foot cord and plug. Also, um, one area uh, where the competition is weak is in the switches it's as far as corrosion protection. So this is a superior design for uh, corrosion protection of that area of the pump. Um, let's talk about the, uh, the armatures. Okay, um, here we, we have a dyna dynamically balanced armature, lacquer coated windings, heavy gauge wires, and it's also protected by a ventilator so the fumes are blocked when the motor's not running. So I want to compare that to a competitor's motor. And you can see um, both of these are used. Um, this one is back for just replacement of the brushes. And again, that's something that can be done in the field. Um, but here you can see there's uh, no lacquer coated windings and it's corroded. And uh, this, this motor is really shot. Um, you can also see the bigger bearings on the, uh, on the flux motor as well. So oversized and they're sealed for, for uh, protection from corrosive fumes. Um, the brushes is, are easily accessible. And one other item is the stator is uh, coil wrapped for corrosion protection and to keep out the carbon dust from the brushes. Uh, when the brushes wear, the carbon dust comes down and uh, that can reduce the efficiency of the motor. So we've got, uh, we've got that protected. And uh, finally, I want to show you uh, one of the competitor air motors. And you can see it's, this motor is not really designed for the corrosive environment. It's all rusted. And this uh, motor is, is not repairable. It's a throwaway. So in summary, uh, I hope uh, you have now some appreciation for the value of a well-designed motor, a durable motor, repairable motor uh, that's corrosion protected. And we hope uh, that we you know, hear from you in the future, and until the next time, again, Tim Sullivan, Flux TV. Thank you.